Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. In last episode we made a bunch of spawners to, uh, or we didn't make a bunch of spawners, we used a bunch of spawners and bent them to our very wills so that we could open many loot bags and get many items. We got, uh, we got some bubble stuff and, I mean, not, not really much else, honestly. Got a, uh, oh yeah, and the stamina chest piece and this pickaxe, which those are pretty nice. Um... So I sat around and thought for a little while, and I thought maybe sticky pistons would be a good idea. Slime's not the hardest thing to come by, but it's not super easy either. So, what I need to do is I need to maybe, what would I, I could, the thing that would end up happening is I would have to set up a timer, which would be easy, because that's super simple redstone. Um, but first things first, I should at least test it by making one sticky piston and then seeing if that even works on the spikes because I don't really know. We grab that sticky piston that we had just made, stick it there, grab a lever, stick it there, and look at that, it does work. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I know that that works at least, which means I can get to work on starting a thing. Because what I'll have happen is uh, I'll have the timer pull back the spikes every once in a while and then uh, push them back in. And Eureka! I've made it work! I set a timer to murderize them. So if I wanted to, I could literally just sit here and amass all sorts of loot for a very long time. Or I could do the smart thing and make this thing called a chunk loader. But it's from Extra Utilities. Which means it would require power, probably. Interesting. But on the bright side, it's not a super expensive thing to make, though. If it's always if it's something sucky, then I can always, you know, give it the old snip snip in the crafter Rooney. Um, I'm gonna set up one of those things, and we're gonna see if I can make it function some way or another. I still haven't really figured out how good the power works perfectly in extra utilities. So I figured what I needed next is a legally bound fellow friend of mine. Once I had written out this fierce and interesting contract, I decided to take a nap and revel over the evil that was about to be committed. For this is a devil's contract. I am going to find the easiest to convince villager ever, and no matter what village I go into, there's at least going to have to be one fellow. So what you do is you find, hmm, you got to find yourself quite the sucker. I don't know who or what, but uh, that fellow looks like he might be one. So here we go. Ah. This villager's not interested. Hmm. I'm going to have to look around a little bit harder, but once I find a villager that is interesting... <laughs> my parents warned me about paper. Who's willing to sign my contract? Uh, I will see you guys. They're actually pretty smart around here, apparently. Ah, here we are. I, villager number, also known as farmer, being a sound mind and body, do agree to allow my physical, spiritual, and or mental essences to be bound to X physical object and use my skills that I currently possess to provide useful service to Sesrip. I agree that my essence shall remain bound to the physical object until... Object destroyed, universe ends, the concept of time or entropy is destroyed or rendered untangible. Or I get bored of standing around in limbo making weird noises and float away to the after uh, to the next life, which, uh, which is unlikely since I like making weird noises. There we go. I had this fellow sign it, then I'm going to use this golden lasso to pick him up. Because that is what I had been missing. Also, I didn't know you were a thing. Cool, There's there appears to be alchemists here. Uh, now I get to go back home, which then maybe I should, yeah, now I can actually make a chunk loader and I get to keep a golden lasso. Also, I realized that using the, this waste stone has a major drawback of sucking up my thirst. Thankfully, there's this awesome thing called puddles where I can drink dirty water. So now that I got this chunk loading ward, which I had looked it up, yes, it is actually a chunk loader, I have the power. So what I can do now is I'm going to take, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take all of that for now. And I'm going to go to the town. And uh, hopefully, let's see, F3 plus G. 
Drug border shown. Alright, well that whole thing seems to be in one shot. Which is pretty freaking helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this wall a little bit more open. And I'm gonna put the chunk loading ward right here. It has a power drain of 8, which is quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure how I can actually connect the survival generator to a grid. It had a bunch of RF in it before, but I think maybe I'll have to put it in a battery or something. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out how to get uh, RF around, because I know I can use this manual mill to just keep uh, the chunk loaded, but I don't really want to do that for eternity, because that just means I could be at home while this junk's happening. Um, however, I don't want to do that, as I said, so... I'm going to try to find a way to get this generator good and connected. I'll see you guys in a bit again. Alright, so I came up with an idea. Because I'm an idiot. I didn't think about it before, but I came up with an idea. I actually can move that entire mob spawner area. I, I didn't need the pistons. The spikes I do need, but I didn't need any of that nonsense. Because you see what I can do is, is I can literally have the water just push them into the spikes. And then I can have the freaking hoppers right below that. But because I'm not a smart, intuitive person, I didn't think to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to torch up this spawner some. And hopefully that one doesn't give me a major brain hemorrhage. Uh, and then I'm going to go grab my spikes. And I'm going to bring them up here. Where and then, I can, uh, then I can move my big O thingy around. Once I had finished off my spawner, it had ended up looking like uh, this, which, besides the, a few bits and pieces here and there get caught, um, seemed pretty successful so far, catching most of the stuff, I mean, it mostly went into hoppers. Uh, I also moved around my waist tone a little bit, had to make more spikes, and uh, all in all though, still uh, still within the one chunk pretty sure so shouldn't be hard to keep in one spot or anything although I still need to figure out the power thing um, you know at least I got that all together the spawner thingy so I'm gonna sort some junk especially all this junk that I had inside the junk um, and then I will be with you guys again I discovered the wonderful creation that was the lava mill I figured it would be my saving grace, but you see to get lava that means I gotta do one of two things, walk all the way down the stairs or go to the nether. Now me being the major puss that I am, didn't really want to go to the nether because I knew I would die very quickly. Uh, so I decided to go grab lava as per usual to make it a little bit more habitable downstairs after all would be nice. And then I made my way back up using the magic mirror which no longer which means that I, I can get upstairs easier. Which I don't think that one consumes water as much as using a waystone. But if you take a look here, the lava mill is made mostly exclusively with stone and uh, the redstone resonating crystal and gold. Which means it's relatively cheap by comparison to everything else. And I've just got to self crank out the stone burnt things my way, and then the redstone is. Redstone's gonna be kind of expensive, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then I gotta use the Ender Shards, but other than that, not not a huge problem. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of those with my remaining crystals. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one lava mill because that's gonna help me be able to crank out more lava. Ooh, good job, Sentry. I never doubted you for one second. You know what? I'm so proud I'm even going to smack you with this strange wrench because I think you might need some help. There you go. How about you? Yeah, you're good. And your health was only taken down a while ago, so... So after that, I made my way back to the Spanier, and now I need to find a good spot to make this lava mill. Let's see. Can't have it crazy far away, but I can't have it crazy close either. Let's try putting it here, sticking the lava there. It's generating power. 
This will generate more the more lava I put next to it. It doesn't seem like it. I thought it said that it generated four. Operates when adjacent to lava. How about if I do this and make the lava runny? If I make the lava run, does that give you more oomph? Seems like it. Seems like it does. Alright, well in that case I'll just let the lava flow all around you. Let's put it there instead. And then... Put that like that. It's still only generating three, but oh well. Not a huge problem. That's one mil done. And that means that if I remove this, then this thing is going to start cranking out more of the stone good stuff. So all I got to do now... Oh, no, it doesn't have enough power, but if I do my flywheel while I'm doing this or whatever it's called, then I'll, I'll be done with that stuff in no time. Seems like I'm going to get pretty warm though, because a lot of it's going to be right there, but who cares? Um, so you guys have to get everything good and cooked. And voila! Now I'm grid power. Which means I can functionally run my chunk loader independently. Because it only has a power drain of 8. And then I, when I want to use that, I could just put the stuff in there and start using the wheel. Or I could remove the chunk loader. Either or. Pretty dang nice. I think these lava buckets being in my inventory might be warming me up. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll... I mean, I know this was all made for efficiency and all that. I guess I can put these in the corners because I don't really need them, I suppose. And I wish Crouch would not do that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't need them. So I'm going to do that, put these away, and uh, yeah, just like that, we got power. We got power, baby. And I don't even think I need these wireless RF transmitters, if we're being honest. So that means that uh, the, the chunk loader should run, and uh, hopefully things will spawn. And uh, yeah, that means uh, free loot for us. Easy. Easy. If you guys like this video of me trying to figure out every freaking absolute thing on planet Earth and being extra wizardy with my wizardy hat, please give the video a like or a thumbs up or any of that nonsense. Also, subscribing would be nice. Pass says Rift tells you, mate. And Pass says Rift is either back now or he will be back very soon by the time that this comes out, probably. So, um, again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. If you really like my stuff, share it with a friend. Hoopla!